Hi Cancer, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You versus Them. Cancer, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. Oh, the Queen of Swords in reverse flipped out. Okay, I'm going to put this card back but let's keep this in mind. Somebody could be, uh, could have cut, cut away the connection and said, you know, I don't trust them anymore or something. It could be a fluke as well. Let's continue shuffling and see what the actual cards are like and uh, cancer these are general collective readings may not resonate with all of you please keep that in mind take what works for you and leave the rest so let's begin welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers all right cancer newcomers uh, I'm setting down two sets of cards here one side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading, Cancer, you'll know which side you resonate best with. For me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, three of pentacles in reverse. So things are not working out between the two of you, it seems, at the moment. Because one person here is saying, I've been very depressed here. I'm not going to wait around for this person anymore. Things are stagnant. Things haven't been, you know, going with the flow. My person is very inconsistent with their energy i wanted commitment with them i wanted something solid with them but they were just a player they just they were just inconsistent immature they just wanted to have passion and um, you know just not be there not step up so maybe it's time for me to you know move on or you know leave all this conflict behind and move on towards finding my own happiness the other person does want to communicate they want to talk, they want to send a message, they to want to take a leap of faith in person A's direction. In fact, they do want, they do see a happily ever after. This person is ready to take action, but uh, maybe they're a little worried that person A has already, you know, turned their back on this connection or something. So let's see what's going to happen, Cancer. Let's start uh, by asking the universe, why, why is this going on, spirit? What's the underlying reason, the deeper meaning for cancer and the person to be going through what they're going through right now? What's the issue here, spirit? What's the issue here? Okay. All right, cancer, the first card is <laughs> soon. Something is happening sooner than you expect. I, th I have a feeling somebody is going to be taking action very soon. Compromise, a need to meet somewhere in the middle. I think both of you have to kind of lower your guards and maybe talk about it or compromise with each other. Uh, protection, this connection is being divinely guided. There is abundance in this connection, being rewarded for the work that has been done. There is something happening very soon, even though I think one person feels it's over or whatever. But um, I have a feeling things are going to come back around. And there is a lot of abundance, a lot of prosperity, if you guys can compromise. So before I begin the reading, Cancer, let's start with some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then I'll clarify these. Cancer and thy person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Cancer and thy person. Cancer and thy person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? All right, let's take a few more Cancer from another deck. Cancer and thy person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? All right. And a few more from a third deck as well, Cancer. And then we'll start the reading. Cancer and that person spirit. Cancer and that person. That's too many. Cancer and that person spirit. All right. Good to go. Let's start the reading, Cancer. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So, Cancer, the first card here says, 
Soon I plan on returning, hoping it can work this time. And didn't we get the card soon from the universe as well? So here this card also starts with the same word. Soon I plan on returning, hoping it can work this time. I lis you listened to me when others got bored of my stories. I love you from head to toe. Our love has only grown stronger with time. I will never fall in true love again. You deserve so someone better than me. Why are you so mean? It doesn't feel right being apart from you. I fear you've moved on from me. I can feel your desire for me. It was just not the right time for us. I loved you more than I loved myself. Then I realized I didn't love myself. I pray for you all the time and do healing work on your behalf. How can you love me after I effed everything up with our connection? I may not be good enough for you. You seem to have high standards. See, two, two different decks. Somebody is feeling a bit insecure here. But I still, I think they're going to be taking action. I bury you with lies. I'm scared to tell you the truth. All right. So these were some of your messages, Cancer. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start the reading. But first, and angel blessing card for you. Let's see what my angels want to bless my Cancer gang with today. A blessing, guidance, advice or a message so this was a soulmate this is a soulmate connection and you guys had to learn some lessons right if the lesson is learned if there is a return if you guys can understand why things happened the way that they did and can compromise maybe there can be a restart right so the anger and the bitterness has to be let go of cancer and um, this is like maybe one person was giving a lot, put the other person on a pedestal, didn't value their own selves. But this period had to happen so that, uh, it's like one of the cards said, I'd put you on a pedestal and made myself small. Then I realized I didn't love myself. The other person could have also had to learn about maybe their insecurities or you know, having to step up and do the right thing. So let's see. This this is a learning experience for the two of you. Sometimes we sign up with soulmates that, you know, we'll both trigger each other to learn some important life lessons. This could be a connection like that. So Spirit, tell me now what's happening. I'm going to start with person A. And uh, newcomers, please let me first tell you that uh, these are not gender based these are just two energies who are interacting with each other uh, if this is your reading you'll immediately pick up which side you're on and who this person is for you i don't know which side you're on i don't want to know because i want to be fair to both sides and yes this could be somebody you know very very well someone in your soul energy soul family yes it could be a love interest spouse ex business partner maybe family members sibling best friend so once if you resonate with the storyline, then you will also figure out who this person is for you. All right. So right now, I'm going to focus only on one side, which is person A for me. Once I'm done with person A, we'll be moved to the other side, to person B. So person A, let's start with you. Four of Swords in Reverse is your first card. Yeah, person A says, I've been very emotional for a long time because I didn't know, I didn't know. Things were in the dark all the time. Somewhere they feel they got fooled maybe. They feel their person had, was keeping secrets from them, was only thinking of their own happiness and not about the connection or something. I think right now they could be saying, yeah, I'm, I've done my waiting now. I've done being in the dark all the time. I'm ready for a 
to start a brand new journey maybe in my own life and yeah i may i might as well move on to make my own dreams and wishes come true as well i think person a says i've been stuck in this dynamic for too long having anxiety and sleepless nights and stress and tension feeling stuck in a situation maybe waiting for the other person to you know Mm, communicate or send a message or do something it's like i've realized i've been keeping my own life stuck uh, i think it's better that i uh, i think in this much time i think person a has also now kind of figured out that uh, their own life their own persona is important that they have to love themselves first i think they're getting that confidence in their life now maybe they've started to look better feel better maybe now they are going out and you know following their own dreams and desires and passions and work and projects it's like yeah i have to focus on my own life and move towards a life of harmony and peace for myself instead of waiting for the other person to come rushing in and save the day or rush in and offer me commitment offer me a you know happily ever after i think person a says yeah i'm i'm done waiting i think i should just acknowledge that this is over yes i did love them i did feel happy with them and that's the reason i waited om kara taro i waited maybe they would come forward apologize to me or offer me something but they never made that choice so I, the lesson i've learned is i have to not keep myself stuck in a situation waiting for someone else to fulfill my dreams and desires maybe it's time for me to move on and um, you know stop being stuck in a situation which has been stuck for far too long yeah person a has been confused they 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 have allowed the other person to make them feel abandoned and left out in the cold maybe they allowed the other person to treat them like an option maybe allowed the other person to create conflict you know uh, in this connection well, all because i think person a was really was attracted to person b let's put it this way and they were waiting that you know they will take action one day they will take action one day but this this is a lesson i think they had to learn that they could choose their own path their own direction and that had to come with some time by themselves they had to understand that they had the power within themselves to hold back and take control and take charge of their own life before they attracted in an a powerful you know counterpart who would match their energy this is like somebody had to learn a lesson in standing up for themselves or doing right for themselves before a true partnership could come in and i think person a has now become very spiritual they become very enlightened to this connection and they try they figuring things out that it's time for me now to you know first focus on myself on my own wishes why do you feel this way person a tell me two cards too much has happened <laughs> okay tell me uh yeah so person b sorry person a A A. We are still on A. Person A says, "Yeah, that's exactly. I was waiting for them to rush back in. I was waiting for them to come and solve everything, and so we could have, you know, happily ever after and all that, and offer me that partnership. Uh, but this waiting period, I have realized that I, I, I'm strong." i am strong i have, have healed person a says i have healed and now i have realized that i have my own dreams and wishes as well and i have to be strong enough to you know push for them instead of waiting for someone else to come and complete me or offer me or make me feel good about myself yeah i'm not waiting around for anyone to come and create any more drama in my life i'm enlightened to this dynamic this lesson and yes i i I've, i've kind of stopped moving towards them and accepting bread crumbs from them uh, i have now found my worth i found my power i'm not chasing anyone in fact i've only become better and better in this time of separation i know my value and worth i'm not chasing i'm attracting in good things i'm focusing on myself i'm focusing on my abundance right uh, in the past all i was doing i was waiting for them i was spying on them i was waiting on them when will they come when will they treat me right when will they see me as a life partner but now i realized i can take a leap of faith into my own future myself instead of saying that staying disappointed 
because somebody else is not giving to me it's time for me to invest in myself okay so person a tell me how do you see the connection now and how do you feel about person b person a says um, they are they are what they are omkara taro they are just they are just a player they just they just so immature they never leveled up they never took responsibility they all they wanted was some fun and games with me with god knows who else and i've kind of come to terms with that and i'm not sitting around waiting for some somebody to come and you know disrupt my life with inconsistent behavior anymore in fact i'm moving on towards finding my own happiness knight of wands knight of wands yeah i think person a says i i have wasted a lot of time energy effort manifesting 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 you know that that this person should come back if they if only we can have a second chance if we can have a 10 of cups you know but now i realize that maybe they'll never change and how long am i going to just keep focusing on the past and keep focusing on why things never panned out the way i manifested them isn't it easier better if i just kind of leave things behind and move on all that love that i had for them if i just keep it for myself go into self love preserve my love maybe wait for somebody better to come in so i can give my love to them because person a says now i recognize maybe this was only passion or maybe i was the one obsessed person a says maybe i was the one who was obsessed by wanting them to become the person to step up and become the person that i wanted them to become but they are not they are just they just a knight okay so what action person a will finally take i will open later cancer let's go to the other side and see how person b is feeling So, person B, in your feelings, in your emotions, you have the Eight of Wands. What's that all about? With the Page of Wands, yeah, person B wants to. Person B now is ready. They want this happiness back. Now they're seeing person A. See, person A has taken back their power, right? Now they are vibrating so high, shining so bright that person B is blinded. person b is now seeing person a as their sunshine their happiness like this is they're getting attracted to person a's energy they want to come towards person a they want to travel towards person a to see if hey are you open to talking with me again uh if i send you a message will you message me back can we transform this connection again i hope it's not over now they've started to miss person a so page of cups or oh, sorry page of wands what's the page of wands yeah they're figuring out they're figuring out they want to have this communication again eight of wands clarified by the eight of wands is double confirmation that person b really wants to open up the lines of communication again they either want to send a message but they're wondering what to say how do i start this now how do i now tell person a something very specific I'll ask them what that specific is, but right now they are losing a lot of sleep. They are anxious. They're losing sleep, anxiety, sleepless nights, uh, because they want to have a brand new chapter with person A, and they want to return. They've realized they are holding a lot of love for person A, even though they may not have expressed it in the past. They're ready to work work on this connection. They are absolutely clear in their mind and heart of who and what they want, and they want to come forward and have some clear commun clear communication. Okay, so why do you feel this way, and what do you want to say to your person? Uh, then you want to communicate, communicate. What have you figured out, and what you're so nervous about? Person B says the fool. Okay, they want to take a leap of faith and love. Ah. Yeah, person B says I am ready. I am ready to take a leap of faith, and I want to rush back to person A to maybe tell them that that I'm ready. But I think they're a little nervous. They're a little nervous that if they that rush in, what if person A says I've already turned my back on this connection? 
uh, you broke my heart i've already moved on now i have another option or something they are nervous that person a may say that i was not emotionally happy here in this connection i've moved away towards new love i already have this handsome new suitor in my life they are little scared of the other person's reaction they are scared of what the other person is going to say to them but they desperately do want to reunite they they just nervous about whether what answer person a will give now uh 10 of pentacles what's the 10 of pentacles yeah i think in the past this person was creating drama or uh, uh, conflicts or whatever they because they were trying to escape commitment but now it seems they are ready i think they are ready now they are ready to have something long term or commit or something i think in the past they just created drama for the sake of creating drama this is like you know now when they know that it's time my person may want to know whether you know are we a thing are we permanent are we getting engaged i mean they would just create a bit of drama so that they would have to escape that answering those questions that's what i'm feeling here but now they're ready okay so but now they're nervous as to what person a is going to say okay so person b tell me how do you see the connection now and how do you feel about person a person b says i'm absolutely ready to take action um garataro i'm absolutely ready to take action i still feel so much passion for them and i said passion and the ace of wands came out okay so person b was waiting for me to shuffle so they could uh, you know push the idea that yes i want to have a passionate brand new start then what's the three of wands in reverse yeah the only thing that is scaring this person is uh i don't want to get disappointed to hear that they are not interested and they've already turned their back on me it's like they're scared to face their karma right they are ready to come and apologize for not choosing or not making the right choice at at the, that time this person wants to talk and clear the air but they are not sure whether person a wants to talk to them or not or will talk to them or not it's like the fear is yeah you know they are going to leave me out in the cold now <laughs> they are not going to want to react what if they have other options now uh, because they are probably seeing the other person as very strong now as somebody who's taken their power back So let's see what actions you guys will take then. Cancer, I'm going to take another deck for this one and while I shuffle this deck, may I now please request you if you could just let tap the like button for me please. Helps the videos to circulate, keeps me motivated to do more videos for you and newcomers, repeating viewers, do like, share, subscribe to the channel. We welcome you in. All right. I mean, there was a peeper here as well which was uh the hermit in reverse so either somebody is feeling very lonely now or they feel they made some very foolish and wise choices in the past okay so let's start with person a person a action from your end towards person b or otherwise ten of swords person a is accepted it's over i've been stabbed in the back it was really painful cycle omkara taro and i've accepted the ending 10 of swords yeah person a could be healing their broken heart at this time they've been healing from this big betrayal and uh, yep they are kind of transforming their own life it's like i'm accepting the ending and i'm rebirthing myself from karataro into a brand new life where i know my value i know my worth i know what i bring to the table right so person a says yeah i've learned my lesson and in this new avatar new life of mine i'm attracting in the soulmate who will take action towards me i'm just i'm just going to sit here and focus on my money and my pentacle and look good feel good and i'm going to allow this time for the right person to take action towards me whether it's the other person be or a new soulmate i'm not going to i'm not going to settle for anyone else but the person who will take the right action and come offering me something long term because i know i deserve it 
okay so lesson learned okay person b action from your end towards person a or otherwise five of swords in reverse they feel like such a loser right now they feel why did i play all those mind games i now if i go back what if i look like a loser okay five of swords in reverse Four of Wands, Strength card, they're gathering up their courage, yeah. They, gather, they want to try again, they're just trying to figure out how to rush back in. <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of fear here, I can't, uh, there, there is a bit of fear. They are fearing, I think, person A's reaction. It's like, if I go to them, what if they cut me with their sword and say, I'm not interested? What if they say, I'm already in another commitment and I've taken my power back? What if they don't allow me, they don't open the door for me and allow me in? So they are, as much as they are wishing, hoping, praying for healing to happen in this connection and they want to rush back in, they're a bit stuck at the moment trying to figure out how to make this work. So what does that mean, person B? Will you not take any action? Will you not take it? Are you still just going to keep thinking? Action? What about the action? I think that they're more nervous about their intentions are right, but they're going through a tower at the moment. And the tower probably could be, am I too late? Am I too late? Has my person already moved on into a new beginning? Have they already accepted new love from somebody else? Has somebody else already, you know, surpassed me? Is that competition around for my person? Will my person hold back from me? What if they are already in another commitment? I think there's a bit of nervous energy, but they are manifesting. They are. I mean, this person is very, very overwhelmed with all the stuff that they didn't do and they're kind of scratching their bag, I'm sorry, sc scratching their head. Uh, they feel all that love, but it's like, yeah, you know, after all that happened in the past, how do, how will I make it work? Uh, I'll have to explain, I'll have to ask for forgiveness. I look like such a sorry figure in front of them. They do have love, but they are a little intimidated, I think, by person A, who could be really glowing right now. It's like, how do I match that energy now? So, I don't know. That, that's what I have for you. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste. Cancer.